Morning, everybody. Good morning, everyone. Jay, Krista, say I do forever. Saturday morning. Happy Coffee Saturday. Tea. It's and a good morning. This one's chipped. Oh. Long version, short story. I broke the other one like this that was my favorite coffee cup. It's Tabasco Cup and Tabasco in Avery Island, Louisiana, discontinued this coffee cup. I am devastated. So, well, we don't, this one's chipped, we don't know online they've discontinued it, but my sister lives uh, mm -hmm. right there, and that's yeah. where we actually got it. I, I brought those all the way back from um, Louisiana. Yep. Um, maybe Careful. let them see it a little bit closer. Oh, we got one left that's all, and that's Jay, the these became Jay's favorite coffee cups ever. <clears throat> yep. And the one that wasn't chipped, the good one. I accidentally dropped and broke. I was just mortified. Coffee. I, oh yeah. Everywhere. Yeah, it was. It was. It was <laughs> sticky. It was coffee. Mop three times, four times. I don't know. <laughs> We're still finding was, little splashes. It was bad. It was bad. But anyway. But we have my sister on alert to go uh, she's even gonna um, see if the kids can find it somewhere in louisiana my sister lives in louisiana you figured someone you would mm -hmm. figure somebody would have these in louisiana somewhere and it's really cool if you guys are ever in the area like new iberia louisiana um the uh, avery island has uh the tabasco they're owned by tabasco uh the company family owned still has the factory there yeah and you can tour the factory which is really cool you can go into their gift shop um and then you can tour the island which has um all kinds of wildlife some beautiful gardens you drive around this entire island and you can see um just really cool things including every once in a while an alligator <laughs> or alligator babies so the first time i went there um i remember Becca telling me, okay, we're going to drive around and you can get out and walk around. And, um, but there are some alligators. So I was like opening the door and like looking down and going, I don't think I'm going to go out. I wouldn't even get out of the car. By the second, third, no fourth time I've been there, I've no never way. actually seen an alligator except for some little babies that we saw. And we nope. were walking all over that thing. So we would even park mm -hmm. the car and go walk into, they have like an Asian garden set up that has bridges and stuff. And I mean, we were walking all over that place. <laughs> oh man. No but, way. But yeah. No way. That's where those coffee cup, cups came from. Yeah. And they are the perfect size for Jay. He loves well, they're just, just the cool. weight of them. Just everything you guys know you have your favorite cup to either drink tea or coffee or whatever it just <laughs> it's a good one yeah i've got my penguin one out uh, for christmas um i haven't quite dug out the christmas i i swear i have christmas mugs somewhere but um today we're getting our christmas tree yes and um yeah. so today i'm gonna pull out everything yeah. um I have Christmas decorations from the shop and Christmas decorations from our house and they're all just in boxes and I've got to sort through it. So A lot of decorations. A lot of organizing, but we're going to get our Christmas tree and have my parents over and Joshua over yep. and uh, we're super excited. So It should be a fun day. Yeah maybe, yeah, maybe we'll pull out the camera and video a little bit if my parents and Josh are up sure. for it. <laughs> if they're wanting to, yeah. Yeah. Should not be a problem. And we'll, I think we're ordering McAllister's. And, yeah, that should be good. Um, that'll be yeah. really, really good. Yeah. So what else? Last night we were, we, we were out late. Wedding. We were out till 8.30 last night. I think we night. talked about that in our Friday video. <laughs> yeah. That we were out till late, 8 o'clock. 8.30. We came home at 8.30, people. <laughs> yeah, and I was asleep by 9. <laughs> It's fun getting old. Yeah, we are getting That's older sure. where we're like, wow, it's really getting late. I'm that tired. That was exhausting. Okay. <laughs> oh, boy. But it was fun, though. We Super got, fun wedding. We got to see um, our best friends, their son, got married. Mm -hmm. And uh, it was such an honor to be part of that wedding. Um, mm -hmm. We watched him grow up since he was a little yeah. boy. and. 
It was cool. It Last was, night I was thinking it about was surreal all the wiffle, wiffle ball games. Oh, yeah. And uh, yeah. yeah, all the little fun things that we did in our neighborhood. Yeah, with... all that stuff. Mm-hmm. It was so, so much fun. <laughs> but anyway, it was a good time last night, and we're very thankful for our friends mm-hmm. that ironically live right across the street from us. So yeah, works out good. Yeah, funny story there. We moved away from them and moved right back. Near yeah, we, we had the house right <laughs> behind them. <laughs> and so then we moved to another town mm-hmm. away for like eight years or whatever it was. and We couldn't be apart. And then years <laughs> later, here we are back across the street from them, but now we're facing their house. Mm-hmm. So it's funny. We always say that we like to keep an eye on them now. <laughs> <laughs> the trouble. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh, but it's fun. We've yeah. known each other a long time. <laughs> yeah. Well, and what so else did we good. do this week? Um, what did you guys do this week? You got to tell us in yeah. the, you know, in the comments. Um, tell yeah. us what you're doing for Christmas. What yeah, we're kind gearing of... up for Christmas. That should be good. Two weeks, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's crazy. The one thing we did this week is we moved so much furniture. <laughs> we gutted an entire um, office space area. Yeah. And we had some of our office in one room that was kind of more like a reading room. Yeah. And just kind of a catch-all. It just had... And when, once we moved, some of the stuff just started getting piled in there. And mm. then part of the office was in another room. It was great, the fact that we went through it this last week, or this week, earlier this oh, week. Oh, my gosh, Because guys. we got to donate a ton of stuff we got to throw away a ton of stuff and just getting rid of the clutter it was it feels good so much better oh yeah yeah we you rearranged just don't feel everything so closed in or claustrophobic or whatever just too much just junk i mean stuff that you, you never mm-hmm. use you know and it's like why am i saving this we you had know? um piles and piles from the shop like yeah. when I went to Wedding MBA and we went to all those conferences and yeah. I took book loads of notes and, you know, um, yeah. pl- planned out what we were going to do for the next year. And when we were planning out our ads and um, Bridal Just Expo everything. plans and and I actually, I got a little melancholy or a little sad this week as we, I mean, we, we literally stacks and stacks and stacks we what we did is we gutted the room and brought everything out so we could deep clean it and it was throughout the house we the front room was piled with furniture and stuff and piles of books but it's so nice that it's all my room was it's all organized now or a lot of it is gone yeah and a lot of it and i mean the stuff we did keep it's organized yeah and it looks nice and organized oh it feels so good but i did get a little melancholy i started to think how hard i tried to uh build that business and to make it as good as it could be you know i tried to be the best bridal shop owner i could and part of me kind of felt a little bit like i failed you know you didn't fail (laughs) she didn't fail she i'm positive she didn't fail because Mm -hmm. she had had brides um on her facebook page Mm -hmm. um comment one after another after another about what a blessing she is to them Mm -hmm. and um how much they appreciate her and all that she did for them i mean she went above and beyond for every bride she went above and beyond so she's just a perfectionist that and always I go beats herself all up. All the stuff that went wrong or the stuff that didn't succeed. No. You know. No no need to do that. <laughs> the the employees no that didn't to go that. that I didn't do such a good job with. The You, you can't know. yeah, but you can't please everybody. Okay, you know? but the purpose is or the, the goal is I tried. You did? You did a great job. You succeeded. I think she succeeded. Yeah. And you can tell by the paperwork that we pulled out of that office how much heart I put into that. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And it was hard. It was a little bit hard to throw away. But we we shredded and threw away. Yeah. And then we went through books Mm -hmm. and books and we donated. Holy cow, guys. (laughs) We're not even readers and we have so many books. Well, there's a lot of books, you know, we gathered over the years and some were... Um, good. Um, some were not so good. Some were like just 
random things that we would never read. So it's like, why do we even have this? Why have we had this for 30 years yeah. and never even opened it? <laughs> yeah, and it's time to go get rid of it. So that's what we did. <laughs> yeah. So anyway. It feels good, though. So, yeah. And it's perfect for... Uh, we were going to get our Christmas tree a little earlier, um, but I'm so glad we waited till after we kind of gutted everything and cleaned it because now we're going to set up the Christmas tree. <laughs> well, yeah, now that's not in the way. Yeah. I mean, trying to dance around a Christmas tree full of ornaments, yeah. that would have been, like, not a good thing. It would have went... Yeah. <laughs> so. uh, are you are you guys someone who gets their tree like right after Thanksgiving? Do you guys get your tree a couple weeks ahead? We tend to, if we're doing a live tree, like to do it about two weeks ahead because that yeah. way, you know, it hasn't fully died by Christmas. Yeah. <laughs> that way when we take it down, we don't have a ton of pine needles mm -hmm. that are dead pine needles on the carpet everywhere. Yeah. Although so, that does yeah. smell good in the vacuum. That is true. Although, have that you guys is, noticed something? Um, I, we haven't had a Christmas tree for a couple of years, so I don't know if it's the same. But I noticed in the last years that we were getting Christmas trees, am I getting older or what? But I didn't smell Christmas like I did when I was a kid. Like, when my parents would get a Christmas tree... Oh, the fragrance of the pine needles. It's not as strong as it used to be. Yeah, and I think the same is with roses. Are they mass producing them? Or are they doing something that's making them not? Or am I just getting old? I was going to say, I don't think it's the, the fragrances going away. I think our sense of smell is going away. I think because we're getting older, I don't know. and we are older, mm, that I'm we're 29, not... I'm 29, but... <laughs> I'll be 29 till the day I die, oh people. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Oh my gosh. <laughs> You're anyway. only as old as you think or only as old as you feel. And I will be forever 29, so I will always be young. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> but no, seriously, I'm wondering if there is um, something going on with Christmas trees that don't smell so much. Well, because. There's a conspiracy theory about trees. <laughs> no. Seriously, think about this. Nowadays, oh, that's funny. nowadays roses because they've hybrid them okay. so much, they don't have a scent, and the uh, florists actually have to add a spray that yeah. smells like roses. I've seen florists do that. They take out that spray and spritz yeah. the rose spray on the roses, so it has that smell at least when you hand it to somebody. Yeah. So it's powerful when they get it. So they think, oh, this is so wonderful. Yeah, because I remember like when we'd off. get our Christmas tree, you'd walk into the house like when I was a kid and it was the whole month we had it up or weeks we had it up. It was like the whole house smelled like it. Right. And um, right. and then in those last few years, I've just been like, does it smell? And even when I go into a Christmas tree lot, it used to be you just almost get knocked out with the smell. So are uh, you saying you want to get a tree today, or you don't want to get a tree today? I do want to get a tree today, and I want a good smelling one. And I think there is a conspiracy theory. <laughs> I think... That's the problem with the world, is they think every, everybody, everyone, thinks that there's they're a conspiracy stealing, theory about everything. They're stealing our um, Christmas tree smell. I knew it. Boy. It's all to keep us from being cheerful. You can see how our hunting for the Christmas tree is going to go today. She's going to smell every single one of those trees. <laughs> no, seriously. We will we'll try to video a little bit tonight, and I'll tell you if the Christmas tree smelled good. Yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah, but thank you for your patience, too, as we haven't had as many videos, as yeah. we've been a little bit busy. Um, yeah. It's hard to have videos when your entire house is torn to shreds <laughs> not anymore yeah we put it back together it, so it's we'll, good. we can get back it's, on track it's really nice now mm -hmm. it's really organized so that's it's actually good yeah it's really really good so we'll try to get back on track we've got lots of yesterday's video we're still <clears throat> laughing at because we if you haven't seen um our friday video that was a hilarious chapter to go through and we seriously did not um i saw that there were questions and I saw everything, and I'm like, you know what? Let's just do these raw. Let's not read them beforehand. Let's just read Well, we them. read the chapter. Yeah. I mean, obviously, you read the chapter before you 
you know, do the video and interact so you know what you're mm -hmm. talking about. But the questions we left until we were live on, not live, think, but recording the video, and that was funny. Yeah. I mean, it was just like, wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> what is, what are they <laughs> some of those Some of those things, man. Yeah. So, yeah. but, so next Friday... I flip the page and realize, because we literally have not plotted this out. We just take it week to week, because that's our life right now. You can only take it <laughs> one day at a time. So yesterday, after our video, I flipped it over. I thought that the chapter we were doing was all about, you know, lovemaking and all that kind of stuff, and your romantic style. Mm -hmm. I flipped it over, and our next chapter is waffles and spaghetti making love. And I went, oh... This is the one video I never wanted to make. <laughs> Obviously, we'll be skipping over that chapter. No, we have to do it, but... What? How... Oh. <laughs> I vote we skip over that chapter. We'll read it. We'll tell you what we're going to do. That's a hard chapter. That's an embarrassing chapter. That's a private chapter. Exactly. Okay, we'll we'll decide what we're gonna do this week. We have to read it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be bright red through the oh, entire boy. thing. I'd I rather just go to the next one. I don't know. Stay tuned and find out oh, what we're gonna do. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we could talk another couple into doing that chapter for us. Do you guys want to talk about that? Because we don't want to talk about that. <laughs> uh. You know who probably would talk about it and not have a problem with it? Paul and Morgan. Oh yeah, they just actually they just actually discussed that. I yep. I posted it on their live chat on uh, our Facebook page for Say I Do Forever. Yeah. And it's a video of um, Paul and Morgan and then they got a couple that are friends of theirs that are atheists. So it's the atheist version of marriage. Um, and the Christian and the version, Christian version and they let yeah. they let the their fans or their the people that follow them uh, ask, ask the, the questions. questions and they went through them and they they talked about the hard subjects yeah mm -hmm. so I'm thinking Paul and Morgan would not have a problem you know who else talking about that chapter who our, our dear friend Lynn she would have no problem talking about that we should just put her on camera. <laughs> <laughs> Lynn, we love you. We love your your candidness. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh boy. And your mother, she would have no problem. Yeah. Probably not have a problem at all. Nope. <laughs> Me? So, we're getting a Christmas tree today. And we went went to a wedding last night. And we're deep cleaning, and that's all we're talking about. <laughs> Uh, I guess we should probably get with it. Get with it. Yeah, we've we got, got a, a lot to do yeah, today. We're going to go get the Christmas tree here in a minute yep. and then try to put the lights on before my parents and them get home. Yeah. Um, and all that. Sounds good. But a really, really fun day for us. I hope your Saturday is amazing. Yeah. Hope you're having a wonderful Saturday and a yeah. wonderful weekend and a wonderful Christmas season. Yeah. I'm Do you still, have anything to I'm say? Still about thinking about that chapter. I'm like, I don't want to go over that chapter. <laughs> anyway, Jay Christo, say I do forever. Our Saturday morning with you guys. Thanks yeah. for uh, joining us. Till next time. Have a good Saturday. Love you. <laughs>